Saren will be furious if she learns you brought outsiders here. But if the prince wills it, we will obey. Now that we're alone, there's a story I think you need to hear. Won't it cause trouble with your people? Our being here, I mean. You are here by my invitation. There's nothing to worry about. This is Azor, the Holy Sword of Mitra. They say it can summon a divine light that smites evil. It's a fine sword, but I don't sense any special power coming from it. All of our relics lost their light when the Age of the Gods ended. But things are different now. The Transcendents have all but vanished. The walls between Maple World and Grandis are gone. It's only a matter of time before the light of Mitra returns to the sword. The sword of the sun god, awakened after all these centuries. It's an inspiring story. It could even bring your people back together. That's what I'm counting on. This is the sword that will unite Cernium. But why are you telling us this? There is a prophecy among the believers. The glory of the heavens will be restored by the grasp of the Chosen One. You see, not just anyone can use the Holy Sword. Until the Chosen One appears, this will remain an ordinary blade. A Chosen One, you say? You're after a particular type of hero, the type who could defeat a Transcendent, for example? The thought had crossed my mind. So, do you sense anything? Are you all right? I may have been a little enthusiastic in my attempts to wake you up. She hit you with a jolt that would have brought a giant to his knees. That's beside the point. Did you feel anything when you picked up the sword? That's not exactly the response we were hoping for. It's safe to say the adversary isn't our chosen one. Still, the sword hasn't reacted like that before. You aren't supposed to be here. Saren! You see, we just... Uh... Leave! Now! I suggest everyone calm down. We don't mean any harm. This is all just a misunderstanding. I will not warn you again. Fine. Let's go.
city for our sacrilege? No, no, certainly not. Saren acts tough, but she'll listen to reason. Will she? I'm not so sure. Absolutely. But most likely. Actually, uh, I may have endangered my claim of the throne. Excuse me? But don't worry about it. Everything will be just fine. My prince, forgive me for interrupting, but you need to see this. Attention, denizens of the Holy Land. We are the Ebon Star. We stand against the tyranny of the gods. Their sigil is a black sun? No, it, it must be a coincidence. In the era of our ancestors, the gods abandoned this world. We reject the evil carried out in their names. Only in the absence of gods can the people be free. If you value your lives, flee Cernium! We will not rest until the memory of the gods is wiped from this land. Notices just like this have been posted all over the city. The heretics are acting openly. It won't be long now. We've taken down all that we can find, but we still don't know who posted them. I see. We've also had reports that a cache of black powder was stolen from the Priests of Flame. They claim it's the work of the Priests of Dawn. Hmm. My friends, I fear that my duties call me elsewhere. I'll smooth things over with Saren for you, so please, rest easy. an incredibly useful individual. 